Amen. Glory be to God. Welcome, welcome tonight to the presence of God one more time. We are here to glorify the name of the Lord. Tonight is a different night. Hallelujah. It's a different night. We are here tonight. We are doing Thanksgiving. We are entering into God's presence tonight. Glory be to God. The Bible says that wherever we are praising God, according to Psalm 22, verse 3, it says, but you are holy, O Lord, enthroned in the praises of Israel. Tonight, we are enthroning God in our lives. We are enthroning him in our praises. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Psalm 100, the message translation says, on your feet now. It says on your feet that we need to literally applaud God, bring a gift of laughter. This is the message translation saying it. We come to the presence of God. We bring a gift of laughter. We sink ourselves into his presence. That's the reason I was singing, playing that music from, the, it's, it talks about the goodness of God by Josie Oyekon. If you, you know, if you don't know it, you know, just go on YouTube. It just leads us into the presence of God. There is fullness of joy in the presence of God. It talks about the goodness of God. It says, sink your, yourselves into his presence. Know this, God is God. God is God and God, God. He made us. We did not make him. We are his people, his well-tended sheep. Enter with the password. <laughs> I love the message translation. It says, enter with the password. Thank you. That's the password to enter into the presence of God. Make yourselves at home. I want everyone that is gathering tonight, that is joining me tonight, make yourself at home talking praise. Tonight, all we are going to do is to talk the praise of God and his thanksgiving. He says, talking his praise, thanking him, worship him, for God is sheer beauty, all generous in love. Loyal always and ever. Hallelujah. So tonight, I, you know, I, I, I ask you, do you know why I like to spend time in Thanksgiving? You see, when we come to the presence of God making noise and crying, it does not open the gates of the throne of God to us. It is Thanksgiving that is the password to the presence of God. So when you come, you know, you could go and, uh, and sing even without Thanksgiving in your heart. It is noise. And if you have have children or if you know anything noise is annoying so you want to come into the presence of God when you go for 365 days of fasting and prayer but without thanksgiving there is no access it is thanksgiving that gives us access into the presence of God brethren the bible cannot be broken whatever we don't thank for God for will soon go down in our lives if we don't thank him for our health it will go down if we don't thank him for our children our children or our business or your marriage whatever you don't thank God for will soon go down. And that verse 4 in the New King James Version, Psalm 100 verse 4 says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praises. Be thankful, be grateful to him and bless his name. That's what the scripture says. Thanksgiving precedes praise. When we are thankful, we are grateful to God for what he has done. Thanksgiving is what we use to gain access into the presence of God. So tonight, I hope you are opening your mouth and thanking God. Just tell him, Father, I thank you today. I come into your presence with thanks. Lord, I enter into your gates with thanksgiving. I enter into your innermost courts with praises on my lips. My Lord and my Father, tonight I thank you Rebo I come into your presence with thanksgiving I use the password of thanks and I enter into your courts tonight begin to praise him begins to thank him Rebo remember I say that whatever you do not thank for God for depreciates in your life Whatever you do not thank God for, look at your life. Look at the breath that is in your lungs. Look at your children. Look at your husband. If you are not married, look at you. Look at yourself. God has been faithful. You have the breath of life. 
Thanking God tonight. I want you to begin to thank God. Don't stop. Tonight we are not doing anything but thanking God. We are looking in the scriptures and we are seeing reasons why we need to thank God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Psalm 49 Verse Psalm 48, verse 9. Psalm 48, verse 9. The New King James Version says, We have thought, O God, on your loving kindness in the midst of your temple. We have thought. The, the TPT, the, uh, the Passion Translation says, Lord, as we worship you in your temple, we recall over and over your kindness to us and your unending love. As we Worship in your temple. We ponder, we recall over and over. We think on your loving kindness. Have you ever sat down recently or have you not ever? Have you sat down recently to recall the goodness of God over your life? There is calamity on the surface of the world, of the earth. There is there are, there are casualties of what is going on all around the world. Have you ever thought, have you thought recently over and over to recall the goodness of God, the kindness of God over you? Have you thought about how God has been good to you, to your children? Recall his love for you and your household. Think about the loving kindness of God. Take a minute more to thank him for his faithfulness over yourself and your family, over yourself and your household. Thank him for his faithfulness to his church. Thank him for his faithfulness to you and your children, your family. Your, some of you, your children are not with you. They are somewhere else. They don't live with you. Some, some of uh, your family members are away from even the country. Begin to thank God. Father, Lord, we thank you. We stand in your temple. Wherever we are in your presence is where your temple is. Father, we thank you, Lord. We are so grateful. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Verse 14 of that King of that Psalm uh, 48 in the New King James Version says, For this is God, our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to death. Hallelujah. You see, when we give glory to God, it brings proof, and nobody argues with proof. It is only a fool that will argue with proof. Hallelujah. And we are not fools. Amen. Glory be to God. The Bible says that this is God. This our God is our God forever and ever. He is our guide. He's the one that has been guiding us. So I want you to one more time thank him for he is your God forever. Say, Lord, I thank you for you are my guide forever. You guide me daily. Lord, I come to your presence with thanksgiving. Tonight, I thank you. My Lord and my Father, tonight I bring praise to you. I give you thanks, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Tonight, I told you, for those who are just joining us, we are only thanking God. Tonight is our night of gratitude. We are giving thanks to God. You see, giving thanks to God, like I said, is the cheapest access to God. When we praise him, when we thank him, we have access to him. I said Psalm 22 verse 3, the New, the New King James Version says, but you are holy, you are enthroned in the praises of Israel. Today, we are the new Israel of God. We stand in the covenant that Jesus Christ ratified and we praise him. We stand as the Israel of now. The, you, see, you see, since God inhabits praises, it is our surest access to the miraculous. Hallelujah. So tonight you are going to praise God one more time. Because the Lord inhabits praises, you are going to tell God, Father, <laughs> I thank you. I thank you, Lord. I appreciate your goodness. I appreciate your greatness. I appreciate your kindness in my life. My Lord and my Father, I offer praises unto you. Lord, I thank you. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are praising God. We are thanking God tonight, all through tonight. It is our night of thanksgiving. Whatever we cannot thank God for, we are not supposed to get. We are not qualified to get whatever we cannot thank God for. Psalm 67 verses 5 to 7. The one thing that praises does or praises do and thanksgiving do is to bring increase into our lives. So when we praise God, we are increasing. Psalm 65, uh, Psalm 67 verses 5 to 7 says, let the people praise you. Oh God, let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth shall yield her increase. God, our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. In the presence of God is increase and thanksgiving will provoke that increase. I will say that again. In the presence of God is increase and thanksgiving will provoke that increase. Whatever you keep giving thanks for keeps multiplying. It keeps increasing. It keeps growing. When you are thankful, your tank will be full. When you are thankful to God, your tank of increase will be full. A thanksgiver will never go on an empty tank. Hallelujah. So praising God will now help your increase in your life. It, you, the earth will begin to produce and it will give its increase for you. So when we praise God, it is for our own good. Even though God wants us to praise him, but the Bible says here, like I said earlier, scripture can never be broken. The Bible says here that when we praise him, the earth that we live in, the places that we occupy, our places of assignment, our places of work, there will be increase for him. When we thank him and praise him, the blessing of God will begin to manifest in our lives. It is dangerous, brethren, to give room for murmuring and complaining. I told you earlier that whatever you do not thank God for in your life begins to depreciate. When Whatever you murmur against diminishes and it will never grow. So when you complain, you are inviting the destroyer. Some, of, some people will be saying, oh, when are they going to start praying and asking? When you praise God, you are already getting into the realm of, the, of increase. Hallelujah. When you, are, when you praise God, you are never at the same spot. But when you don't praise God, you are either going down. So you see, when you praise God, you are going up. But when you don't praise God, you are going down. Nothing would ever go down again in your life in the name of Jesus. So tonight, I want you to join me. I have explained to you that when you praise God, you are actually increasing in your life. You are going to say, Father, I praise and I thank you for the increase in my life. I glorify your name. I thank you for the increase in my life. I glorify your name. Lord, I praise you because I experience supernatural increase in all aspects of my life. I praise you tonight. I thank you, Lord. In my health, I experience increase. In my finances, I experience increase. Over my land, I experience increase. In the anointing of yours in my life, I experience increase. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I praise you. Your word says that when I praise you, there will be increase. The earth would give increase unto me. Lord, tonight I bring the fruit of my lips and I praise you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. You see, you are going to tell God, Lord, I thank you for my job. I know how many people don't have jobs at this time. So praise God. Thank God for your job. Say, Lord, I thank you for my business. It is the platform that I have to feed my family. My Lord, I am grateful. Lord, I thank you for every client and every customer that you bring to that business. I see them coming again, returning again and again in the mighty name of Jesus. I hope you are thanking God. Father, Lord, I thank you for my job. I thank you for my ministry. I thank you for my business. 
Lord, I thank you because those clients and customers are coming back. Your word says, whatever I praise you for increases in my life. My Lord and my Father, I thank you for this ministry. I thank you for this job, Lord. I thank you for feeding my family from the business that you have placed in my hands. Lord, I give you praise, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. You are going to say, Father, I thank you. And I praise you because you lest you allow testimonies of increase to begin to roll in in my life. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my Father, I thank you. Because there is testimony. There are testimonies of increase rolling into my life. As I thank you, Lord Jesus, there are testimonies of increase rolling in my life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed hallelujah thanksgiving and praise brings promotion thanksgiving and praise brings promotion in the book of habakkuk chapter 3 verses 17 to 19 the new king james version it says though the fig tree may not blossom nor fruit be on the vines though the labor of the olive may fail and the fields yield no food Though the flock may be cut off from the fold and there be no herds in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. He will make me, he will make my feet like the deer's feet and it will make me to walk on my high heels. When you are walking on your high heels, you are getting promoted. You are going up and up. You see your high praises is the covenant highway to high places in your life. When you praise God highly in your life, when you lift him up highly in your life, you get into your highway that leads you to your high places. Hallelujah. Praise is your way out of stagnation. Glory be to God. When you praise God, God lifts you up. God promotes you. So tonight, I want you to join me and say, Father, I praise and I thank you. Lord, as I praise you tonight, I know that you are already commanding every siege sitting upon my lifting to be broken as I praise you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I praise and I thank you. Lord, tonight as I praise you, I know that you are commanding every siege, every limitation against my lifting. Tonight they are broken as I praise you. My rekeboko soto korea baba baba baba. Yeke teke reboko soto korea kasata. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, as we praise and I thank you, we receive promotion in every area of our lives. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, my reboko korea kasata. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You are going to pray and say, I praise you. And I am lifted out of poverty. I am lifted out of misfortune. I am lifted out of stagnation. I am lifted out of sickness and disease. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I praise you. And I am lifted out of poverty. My Lord, as I praise you, you lift me out of poverty. You lift me out of stagnation. You lift me out of sickness and disease, oh Lord. You lift me out of misfortune. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. You see, thanksgiving and praise brings increase in your status and in your number. So you don't only increase your stature, your, your status where you are. If you if you you know if you are uh, you are earning five thousand euro or dollars before, when you begin to praise God, that brings increase. In your status. So if you are a messenger at an office, you can dance and praise God. You glorify God. God lifts you and you become a manager. Glory be to God. So it is the altar of praise that you receive increase in your status 
and in your number. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19, the New King James Version says, then out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. Out of us shall produce pro proceed thanksgiving. And the voice of those who make merry, and the Lord says, I will multiply them. Who will God multiply? Those who are thankful and they shall not diminish. When you are thankful to God, you will be multiplied because God inhabits the praises of his people. God stays, where, where God says there is multiplication, where God stays, there is increase. So he says they shall not diminish. I will also glorify them. They shall not be small. When thanksgiving is your lifestyle, the Lord will grow you in number and in status. Hallelujah. So not to be grateful is to be a grateful. <laughs> I heard Pastor Faith Oyedepo say that. He says when you are, she said when you are not grateful, you are a great fool. You will not be a fool in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the grace to be grateful in the name of Jesus. So you are going to say with me, Father, I thank you. I make merry with my voice in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my Father, I thank you because you multiply me in number and in status in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you because you multiply me in number. You give me increase. My family expands. I begin to see my generation getting large in number. My God and my Father, I am grateful to you. Thank you because you multiply me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The Living Bible says, you know, that same scripture. The Living Bible says, you make me great and you make me honorable among the earth. The Lord says when we praise him, when we thank him, he makes us great. He makes us honorable. Being great mean, doesn't mean that you, you, know, you, you are taller. It means that when people hear your name, they attach greatness to it. When people hear your name, they're like, oh my goodness, that's Pastor D. Hallelujah. You have influence all over the place. The great person is an influential person. The Lord gives you wisdom to be able to say what you need to say at a particular time. When you, they call you to a high meeting, you don't scramble before you know what to say. You become great, great in utterance. You become great in your presentation. And he says that we become on Honorable. Tonight you are going to tell God, my Lord and my God, thank you because you make me great. Thank you because you make me honorable among the people of the earth. Thank you because you make my children great. Thank you because you make my husband great. Thank you because you make my wife great. Thank you because you make my family great and honorable in the earth. Lord, I am grateful to you. I thank you. Rabo seke keria baba baba baba. Yeke teke reke seke ria kasuko robo shete. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. I declare that God will multiply you in the name of Jesus. Your season of multiplication is here. Your season of glorification is here. Therefore, arise. Multiply in the mighty name of Jesus. Multiply like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. I am speaking to somebody here tonight that you have thought that you can never arise. You have thought that nothing else will not work in your life. I release the grace for multiplication. As you praise God tonight, as you worship and thank him tonight, I declare that you multiply in the mighty name of Jesus. Your season of multiplication is here and right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 30, that same book, the next verse, verse 20, the Living Bible says, their children shall prosper as in the reign of David. Their nations shall be established before me and I will punish anyone who hurts them. This is just you. That's the reason I said Thanksgiving is the cheapest access that you can have to God. He says that your children will prosper. When you thank him, all you need to do is wake up in the morning and say, my Lord and my Father, I thank you. There is nothing you need on this earth. You don't need to, you know, go in, onto the mountain for you to get access to God. 
you don't, I'm not saying don't go to the mountain, but what, the cheapest way to get into to get access to God is through thanksgiving. He says your children will prosper. You will increase. You will multiply. Your children will prosper as in the time of David. Your nations shall be established before me. Do you know what nations mean? It means that fruit of your loin, things that come out of your loin. Because the Bible says, told Abraham, our great grandfather, he says nations will come out of your loin. So things that come out of you, People that come out of you, the Bible says they will be established, hallelujah, before the Lord. And he said he will punish those who hurt you. So when you thank God, God is committed to punishing your enemy. The Lord is not only committed to that, he is committed to prospering and establishing your future because you thank him. He will punish anyone who rises up against you on the altar of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the cheapest way to enter into God's good books. Hallelujah. So tonight you are going to join me and say, Father, thank you. <laughs> and I praise you today because you prosper and you establish my children and their future. Accept my thanks in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my Father, I thank and I praise you today because you prosper and you establish my children. You say it in your word. Rebo <laughs> I'm returning your word to you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, because your word says when I thank you, you prosper, you establish my children. I give you the praise, O Lord. Accept my thanks, O Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. You are going to say with me, Father, I thank and I praise you because you punish anyone who hurts me and my household. Thank you, Father. Lord, I thank and I praise you because you punish anyone who hurts me and my household. Thank you in the name of Jesus. If there is anyone that stands against your household to hurt you, oh, you are they are punished today in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my Father, I praise you because you punish anyone who hurts me. Disease is a hurt. Sickness is something that hurts. Poverty hurts. Lord, I stand, I stand in your presence tonight. And I praise you because, oh Lord, you hurt anyone that hurts me. You hurt sickness in my life. You hurt poverty in my life. You hurt lack in my life. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The next verse, verse 21, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 21. The New King James Version says, their nobles shall be from among them, and their governor shall come from their midst. Their nobles shall be from among them, and their governor shall come from their midst. Entrepreneurs, owners of industries will emerge, will emerge from among us. People that will be having their own businesses, millionaires, that's what he's talking about. They are nobles. Do you know what noble means? Somebody that is a noble. Somebody that <laughs> noble means somebody that is a that, that is honorable. It says they are nobles shall come from among them. That means that we will not need to be looking for people to help us. People from among our households will be our help. Entrepreneurs. Owners of industries will emerge from within us. That's what the scripture is talking about here. Leaders, governors, rulers will emerge from among our children in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to say, Father, I thank you because my family will be the ones to be sought after in the name of Jesus. My Lord, I, my Father, I thank you because kings and leaders shall come from my loins. In the name of Jesus. Kings and leaders shall come from my household. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. On the altar of praise, I receive your promises. On the altar of thanksgiving, I receive all that the good that you have for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rebo In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. What else does thanksgiving do? Thanksgiving and praise brings judgment against your adversaries. Thanksgiving and praise brings judgment against your adversaries. You see, thanksgiving and praise gives you access to God. 
When you have access to God, you have access to everything. You have access to increase. You have access to multiplication. You have access to, 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 honor, to be honorable and to be great in the earth. But also, thanksgiving and praise brings judgment against anyone that stands against you. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 23, the same scripture that we are reading, verse 23 in the Living Bible says, suddenly the devastating whirlwind of the Lord roars with fury. It shall burst upon the heads of the wicked. Remember, we started from verse 19. Verse 19 says, out of their mouth, out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. And this is still what thanksgiving will do for you. It says, when you thank God, there will be a sudden whirlwind that will devastate your enemy. It shall burst upon the heads of the wicked. So when you engage in praise, you see the sudden hand of God. You see his judgment against your enemy. So your, <laughs> your enemies are in trouble. Anyone that troubles you is troubling God and they are in trouble. So don't be surprised. I have something to tell you. Don't be surprised. Don't be perplexed. When you hear some strange news this coming week, as you are standing and praising God, because you have invoked heaven against your enemies. So don't be perplexed. Don't be surprised. When you are hearing some strange news, when you are getting some strange information, so you are going to tell, tell the Lord, you are going to say, Father, I thank you. Because there is a sudden judgment against those who come against me and my household in the name of Jesus. My Lord, I stand upon your word and I offer thanksgiving to you. I thank you because out of my thanksgiving, there is a sudden judgment against my enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you because judgment has come against poverty. Judgments have come against limitations. Judgment has come against sickness. Judgment has come against lack and every evil work in my life. In the name of Jesus. Marebo seke keria ba 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 ba. Yeke teke reke seke keria kasuko koko ria ba. Yika toko ri kasike rebo shata. I stand with you, Lord, and I praise you, Father. Judgment has come against my adversaries. In the name of Jesus. Yika raba shete keria kasoto. Mate keri ba kasuko ri kasike bo. What else does praise do? Praise and thanksgiving brings down opposition. Psalm 97 verse 5, the God's Words translation says, Mountains melt like wax in the presence of the Lord, in the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you praise God, you bring yourself into, you bring God's presence into your situation. The presence of God is the manifesting power of God. So you bring power, the power of God, the power that melts mountains. So no matter how fierce the opposition, all it requires to bring it down is to praise God. Remember in the book of Acts chapter 16, verses 25 to 26, the story of Paul and Silas. There was so much opposition against them, but all they did, even in prison, they praised God. When you praise God, the mountains of your life Move because the presence of God by your praise melts mountains. Hallelujah. When you thank God, he looks at the mountain and says, what are you still doing here? Can't you hear this lady thanking me? Can't you hear this man thanking him? Mountain, what are you still doing here? Sickness, what are you still doing in the body of that woman? She is thanking me. She's praising me. That is what God will say. So you are going to declare and say, Father, tonight I praise you. Because everything that is a mountain in my life melts like wax in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my Father, I praise you. Because every difficult situation in my life becomes a testimony in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my Father, I thank and I praise you. Because everything that looks like a mountain in my life begins to melt like wax. In the name of Jesus, my Lord and my Father, I praise and I thank you. Because every situation that proves to be difficult in my life becomes a testimony. In the name of Jesus, begin to praise him, praise him, praise him. Marebo In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. What else does praise and thanksgiving do? Praise and thanksgiving removes contradiction. 
Praise and thanksgiving removes contradiction. In the book of Matthew chapter 21, I want to read verse 9 from the New King James Version. It says, then the multitudes went before and those who followed him cried out saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. So people cried out and they began to, you remember the story of when Jesus Christ went on a donkey to Jerusalem. That's the story. And the multitude, people started to praise him. They started to shout Hosanna to the King of Kings. And in verses 12 to 16, the same scripture in verses 12 to 16, Jesus now, after they have cried Hosanna to him and he has entered Jerusalem, they now, they, Jesus now went into the temple of God. Your body is the temple of God. Jesus enters into your body. The Bible says, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Your body is the temple of God. And the Bible says that Jesus entered into your temple, the temple, your body, the temple of God, and drove out all who bought and sold in the temple. Sickness and disease, they buy and they sell in the temple of God. The Lord Almighty, by the grave, by the hosanna that you are shouting tonight in your house, everything that is not of God in your body, they are driven out in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says he went into the temple and drove out all who bought and sold and overturned the temple of the money changers and the seeds of those who sold dogs. Some things have taken seats in your life. They have sat down. The Bible says that the seeds of those who sold and bought in the temple, some things are in your life that they have taken seats. Things that are not supposed to be there. Sickness, disease, poverty, lack, lack of joy, lack of peace. They have taken seats in your life. They are sitting down. The one of the Lord is coming to you tonight and I declare everything that has taken dwell, that is dwelling in your life, that has taken seat in your life they are overturned tonight in the mighty name of Jesus the Bible says that he overturned the table and he said to them it is written my house shall be called the house of prayer. Tonight I declare that your body, your home, every house that you, you belong to shall be called the house of prayer. They no longer become the den of thieves in the name of Jesus. Oh, the Bible says if the thieves be taken, be caught, they will pay back everything that the devil has stolen, everything that the thief has stolen in your life, there is a payback from tonight on. In the mighty name of Jesus, as your joy be stolen, as your child be stolen by the devil, as your life be stolen, as your health be stolen by the devil, I decree a repay. The Bible says that when the thief be caught, it will, he will pay back sevenfold. I declare a sevenfold payback for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Bible says, then the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. But when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did and the children crying out in the temple and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were indignant and said to him, do you hear what these are saying? And Jesus said to them, yes, you have never, have you never read? Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have perfected praise. Hallelujah. Hosanna is a shout that turns Jehovah on. Hallelujah. Hosanna is a shout that turns our Lord on. When our God hears you shouting Hosanna to him and shouting hallelujah and praising him, he steps in. Everything that is not of God around you must leave tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Jesus entered the temple as the people sang Hosanna to him. He chased out everything that was contrary to what was written. That is what I said, that Jesus, when you praise and thank God, God removes contradictions from your life. Anything that is contradiction, a contradiction in your life is removed tonight 
on the altar of praise in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord Jesus Christ said, have you not heard that it is written? God was telling God, that was telling the people that it is written. He was quoting Psalm 8 verse 2 to them that out of the mouth of infants, God has ordained praise and silenced the enemy and the avenger. And the Lord says here that anytime you praise him, anything that contradicts what is written concerning you, the Lord removes it from your life. Your praise enforces what is written about you and removes what is not written in your life. I hope you heard me. When you praise God, it removes what is not written in your life. Anything that is not written by God in your life is a contradiction. So Lord, the, when you praise him, when you sing praises, when you shout praises, when you thank him, when you appreciate him, the Lord enforces what is written about you. Hallelujah. So for example, to be married and you don't have children is not what is written for you. When you are married, you have children. That is what is written. To be healed and be made whole is what is written. Barrenness is contrary to what is written. Sickness is contrary to what is written. Poverty is contrary to what is it's written. Praise commits God to what is written. Does it make sense to you? Poverty is contrary to what is written in your life. Lack of joy, lack of peace, Sickness and disease is contrary to what is written in your life. But when you sing Hosanna to God, God, Jehovah, is turned on and he begins to reverse anything that is contrary to what is written in your life. And he now enforces what is written in your life. Hallelujah. So God has ordained praise to silence the enemy. When God arises, his enemies are scattered. Hallelujah. There is that song. It says, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. That's from Psalm 68 verse 1. So when God arises in your life, your enemies are scattered. So you are going to decree with me tonight as I praise God, Lord. Father, as I thank you, I thank you because every contrary thing written against me is erased today in the mighty name of Jesus. Say it again. Father, I thank you because every contrary thing written against me is erased today in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. You see, brethren, sometimes what is written that is contrary, you can actually see it. It's a fact. You go to the doctor and they write down a diagnosis. They said, this person, when they wrote the diagnosis for me, when I was, you know, before I had my children, the doctor wrote down that you, you, you have, fibroid has taken over all your womb. There is no way a child can grow here. Hallelujah. And, you know, it, it was written down. When, I, when the devil attacked my back with back pain, it was written, pelvic mass was written down. Go and take tests, go and do this, go and do it. Is, sometimes it could be factual. Immigration has written a letter to you. It is a fact. Yeah, you see the letter. You can read it. Canada Border Services, you can see it. But those are things that are contrary to what God has written to you. The Bible is what God has written for you. In the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 13, he said, I will plant them in their land and they will no longer be uprooted. Hallelujah. The Bible tells me in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 12, you will search for your enemies and you will not find them. In the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, he says, by his stripes, you were healed. Hallelujah. Those are what have been written about you. So when you thank God, all you need to do, you can take that paper, that's the diagnosis and, and lift it up to God. Father, I thank you because your word supersedes what is written. Your word contradicts what, is, what this is written. So everything that is contrary to your word, they are removed in the name of Jesus. You begin to thank God. 
That is what thanksgiving does. So tonight you are going to praise God again. You are going to say with me, Father, I praise you because all that is written concerning me by you comes to pass in my lifetime in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that you have written concerning me, long life, uh, 120 years of satisfied life. Psalm 91 verse 16 says so. He says, with long life, I will satisfy you. Lord, everything that is written concerning me, in, 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 in prosperity, I will live long. I will see my children's children. My children will turn out right. That is what has been written concerning me. Isaiah chapter 18 verse 8 says, me and the children that the Lord has given unto me, we are for signs and for wonders. Oh, katerebo shata baba. This are what you have written about me. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 says, for I know the thoughts that I have towards you. They are thoughts of good and not of evil. To give you a future and a hope. My Lord, you have a future and a hope for me. I thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. You see, when God comes in on the spot, every devil gives way. Who is the devil to stand before God. So if there is anything tormenting you, hallelujah, I perceive some of you are tormented in your dreams. You dream and you have nightmares. Night by night, you have prayed, you have fast fasted. Go in the in praise tonight. Before you go to bed tonight, dance and sing praises to God. And let me see the nightmare, the devil that will attack you in your dream. In the mighty name of Jesus. When God comes on the spot. Every devil gives way. So you are going to tell God tonight, as I praise and thank you, every evil transaction in my life, in my family, in my body, ceases from today, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil transaction, every evil transaction in my life, every evil transaction in my body, every evil transaction in the lives of my children, every evil transaction in the life of my husband, every evil transaction in the life of my wife, in my family, they cease today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rebo seke keria baba baba baba. Ye kete kere ke seke kebo. Ye kato koria kasi kebo. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are going to declare and say, "I receive my perfect health." Today, as I praise you, in the mighty name of Jesus, I receive my perfect health. Today, as I praise you, Remo Kotokoria Baba Baba, Yikato Korika Sukori Baba Baba Baba. You are going to say with me, while others, where others are sweating, it will be smooth sailing for me. From today on, as I praise you, oh Lord, Father, as I praise you. Where others are sweating, it will be smooth sailing for me in the name of Jesus. Mareboko soto koria kasuko robo shete neke cheke reke siko riba baba baba. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You are going to say, Father, as I praise you, my enemies are silenced forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, there will be doom in the lives of my enemies, even on the altar of my praise tonight. In the name of Jesus. Rika toko ria baba 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 baba. Yeke cheke rebo kosoto. Yika toko ria kasike rebo shata. I praise you tonight, O oh Lord. As I praise you tonight, yika riba baba baba baba. On the altar of my praise, O oh Lord. Yike cheke rebo shete. Neke cheke ria baba. I cause doom in the plat in, in in the lives of my enemy. In the name of Jesus. Reke te rebo shata baka tata ba. Yika to rebo shata. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. One other thing that the praises of the children of God, what, one other thing that, this, that, that your, your thanksgiving and your praise does is to preserve the blessings that God has given unto you. The altar of praise and thanksgiving. On the altar of praise and thanksgiving, your blessings are preserved. Your blessings are preserved. The Bible tells us in that Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 19, it says, I will multiply them and they will not diminish. That means that your blessing, your multiplication is preserved. You will be multiplied. You will never diminish. You will, you will be glorified and you will no longer be small. So tonight, I want you to join me and begin to praise God and thank God that I declare that as I continue to praise you, my blessings are 
have resolved in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to declare in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my Father, as I praise you. Reke, take a rebo, shata, baba, baba. My blessings are preserved. Rika, toko, rea, baba, baba, baba. I praise myself out of poverty. I praise and thank you, Father. I praise myself out of every pit of life. In the name of Jesus, declare that, declare that, Kakarabashete. I praise and thank my, I praise myself out of poverty, out of every limitation, out of every pit of life. Oh Lord, I thank you. Marika suko robo shetebo. Yika tokori akasataba. Is there something that you have not touched tonight? Just begin to appreciate God. Praise Him. I want us to spend a few minutes to just thank Him. Tell Him how you feel about Him. Tonight, I told you it's all about Thanksgiving. Mako tokori ba 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 ba. Yeke teke rebo koso tokori aba. Yika tokori kasi ke rebo shete. Neke teke reke sekebo. Yoke te rebo shata ba 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 ba. Oh, the Lord of the Lord says to us in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 that we praise Him in, in tongues. That it is good to praise Him in tongues. Neke teke ria ba 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 ba. Praise Him in your heavenly life. Language tonight. Thank him in tongues, Keterebo. Mariba Kasuko Rika Sikerebo Shete. Nekete Kerebo Kosoto Korea Kasata. Yikato Korika Sikerebo Shete. Ye Kerebo Kosoto Korea Kasite. Nekerebo Shata. Yikato Korebo Shete Keria Kasataba. Nekete Keriba Baba Baba. Ye Kete Kerebo Kosoto. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Rika to Korea, Baba, Baba, Baba. Neke teke rebo shete. Yika to Korebo shata. Oh, Lord, we bless you. Yika to Korea, Baba, Baba, Baba. Neke riba kosuko Korea, Baba. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Rika to Korea, Baba, Baba. Yeke teke bo shete. In Jesus' mighty name, we have praised. Tonight, the only asking we are going to ask is for the church of God. We have praised God. We have glorified God. Everything that you have praised God over tonight in your life is established in the name of Jesus. Affliction will never rise in a place that there is praises. Tonight, no affliction is permitted in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The, book, the Bible says in Psalm 2 verse 8, it says, ask of me, and I will make the nations your inheritance. The ends of the earth will be your possession. Hallelujah. We're going to ask God for nations in every church that is gathering together tomorrow. Over Those who are coming together in some nations, they are able to come together. We're going to ask for nations. That nations sometimes could mean unbelievers. When they are nations, the Gentiles could be unbelievers. We're going to ask God for nations tonight. That as people gather together, both in-house and online, the Lord says, ask of me and I will make the nations your inheritance. We're going to call in the people that people will come to the kingdom of God tomorrow. They will have an encounter with the Holy Spirit tomorrow. That the power of God will be manifest in every house that with the house of God tomorrow. Everywhere that the name of the Lord Jesus is called tomorrow. Every service, everywhere on the surface of the earth. You don't need to belong to faith chapel to do this. You just begin to declare <laughs> everywhere that the name of the Lord Jesus Christ is called upon. Let there be an overflow flow of the of, of people into the sanctuaries on the online on youtube tomorrow on youtube on instagram on facebook mixer and every other platform the lord says ask of me and i will give you nations for your inheritance tonight we ask for nations to come together, to come in and encounter God. Riba seke keria ba 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 ba. Yeke teke rebo shete keria kasoto. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Apostle Paul says, "Pray for me, so that God will give me boldness to declare the word of God without intimidation." Tonight, you are going to pray for the leaders 
of services tomorrow. Pastors, apostles, bishops, teachers, prophets, those God has set into the fivefold ministry that the Lord Almighty will use them mightily. They will be bold to declare the word of God. The Bible says, whatever I give to you in secret, you will declare on the rooftops. As they go into the services tomorrow, there will be boldness to declare. There will be manifestations of the power of God. During every service tomorrow, begin to pray. These are kingdom advancement prayers. When you pray for the advancement of the kingdom of God, that is another way that God would advance you. So don't turn off. Don't leave. Begin to pray this prayer, Saka. Rebo kotekeria ba 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 ba. Yeke teke rebo shetekebo. Don't say we have done praying for our families. Oh, I hope you understand that when you pray for the kingdom of God, your life is advancing. There will be inheritance laid up for you, not only in heaven but even here on earth. Riba katoko rebo shetekeria ba. Yika toko ria kasike keke boko soto. Neke teke rebo shetekeria. Oh Lord, we lift our spiritual leaders up to you. Lord, strengthen them. Give them all trance. Nike te ri ba 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 ba. Yeke te ke rebo she te ke boko soto. Nike te ke ri ba 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 ba. Ya koto kori a kasi ke rebo boko soto. Nike te ke ri ba 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 ba. Yike te ke re boko soto. Yeke te ke ri ba. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are going to pray for political leaders all over the world. In Canada, in the United States, in every continent of, of the world. Okariba, Africa, Asia, everywhere. We are praying for the political leaders. Father, we pray for them. Strengthen them, O oh Lord. Empower them, O oh Father. You are the one that has brought them. Your word tells us that we should pray for those who are in authority. We lift them up unto you. Because that is a ministry that you have called them into. We pray for peace. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We are going to pray for the nations of the earth. Where COVID-19 is coming on, we are declaring the total eradication of that disease. In the mighty name of Jesus, there are some countries, I hear about uh, India, that there is devastation with that virus. We bring it down in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to command that that sick disease, that virus is dead totally in all nations of the world. In the mighty name of Jesus. Riba kasuko rebo sheteke riaba baba. Neke teke riba kasoto koriaba. Yike teke rebo. We pray for smooth opening of the nations and the gathering of his people together. We pray for smooth opening of the nations, of smooth opening, smooth reopening of the nations, smooth reopening of the nations. We will not, affliction will not come back again. Affliction will not rise up again. In the nations of the world, we declare afflictions will not rise up again. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Finally, you are going to pray with me. The Bible says that we should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We are going to pray for Israel. We are praying because there is war between the Palestinians and the Israelis. We are going to pray for peace in the nation of Israel. Peace over that nation. There is peace over the nation of Israel. I need you to lift up your voices with me. The Bible says that those who pray for the peace of Israel, they will inherit, they will have peace in their lives. Pray, pray for the peace of Israel. Pray for the peace in the nations of the world. Pray especially for the nation of Israel. We bring an end to war in Israel. We bring an end to war in Jerusalem. We bring an end. We, we pray for wisdom for, for, the, for the prime minister. I believe his name is Netanyahu. We pray for wisdom and for the, 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 the prime minister or the president of the other nation. We we pray for the wisdom for them. We pray for wisdom for them to settle whatever it is that is going on. We pray for peace in that nation. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. 
Begin to praise God one more time. Begin to appreciate him. Just thank him, thank him, thank him. He inherits the people, praises of his people. We stand together. We worship you tonight. We praise you tonight, oh Lord. We exalt you, Lord Jesus. We magnify you. Reke teke riba ba 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 ba. Yeke teke rebo sheteke riba ba. As low as far as the heaven stands, as far as the heaven stands, oh Father, no one is able to comprehend you. Reke teke rebo shata ba 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 ba. Yika toko ria ba 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 ba. Your love is deep. Your love is uh, is wide. Makoto koria ba. We worship you tonight. We glorify your name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We glorify you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Daddy, we thank you for healing in our bodies. Lord Jesus Christ, as you have commanded me, I, I sent your word to your children, anywhere, anyone with ailments in their lives. Even as we have praised you, I declare and I decree that affliction will not rise up again in your lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 107 verse 20 says he sends his word and heals them. I declare the word of God over you. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Nothing is permitted to be sick in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you one more time. We proclaim your greatness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, brethren, for joining me again tonight. Facebook, I appreciate you. Instagram, thank you. YouTube, thank you. Thank you, brethren. We will meet again. Come to church tomorrow. Don't be late. Don't, don't, don't be late. You, you, you know, in, in Canada, we are still online, at, at least in Ontario, uh, for this week. But join us online tomorrow. If you don't have a home church and you are joining us from anywhere, link to Check Faith Chapel on Facebook, on Instagram, YouTube. We are there. Glory be to God. May God bless you in Jesus' name. I love you. God bless you. Amen. Have a wonderful night's rest in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs>